Welcome to the first video in this Laravel 7 basics video series. In this first video, I'm going to show you how to set up a local dev environment. So this video is going to include three steps, which is to install Composer. We will then install the Laravel installer. And finally, we will install Laravel Ballet. So let's go ahead and dive into it. And I'm just gonna go ahead and go to the laravel.com website. And then we're gonna to go to the documentation and click on getting started installation. And if you scroll down, we can see that we have system requirements that we need to meet before we can actually run a Laravel app on our local machine. So you can optionally choose to install Laravel Homestead, which is a vagrant, which is a virtual machine that runs on your computer. Or you can make sure that you have all of these server requirements on your local machine, and we can go ahead and run a Laravel app locally. And that's what we're gonna do. So first step that we'll need to do is go down here to installing Laravel. And you'll see that to install the Laravel installer, we can run this command. But as you can see, if we run this command, we're probably gonna get a command not found composer if you do not already have composer installed on your machine. So installing composer is very simple. So we're gonna go ahead and go to getcomposer.org and then we'll scroll down here to download. And you'll see here that we have this download script that we can run. And this is going to add a composer.var in this current directory. But we want to install this globally. So we're gonna go back to getting started. And then you'll see here we have installation on Mac OS and we have to install this globally. You can additionally install this for Windows by clicking on the Windows installer. Okay, so to install this globally, we'll just copy this command and paste that in there. Now, if we jump back over to the Laravel docs, we're ready to install the Laravel installer. So we can go ahead and just copy this command and paste that right in there. Okay, and after that has completed, we can then scroll down here and it says that there's a few more steps that we need to do to finish adding the Laravel installer. So what we should be able to have is this Laravel new command where we can run this and it will install a new Laravel app in a specific folder. So let's see what happens when we go ahead and run this command. So let's say we go into our sites folder and if you do not have a sites folder on your machine, you can create this wherever you want, but typically I would create this in your root directory and then name it sites. So inside of here, say that I want to create a new Laravel app. Typically I would say Laravel new, and I want to install this in a folder called blog. But you can see that we get the command not found Laravel. And that is because we need to let our system know where this command is at. And the Laravel documentation explains how to do it right here. They say that we need to add this to the system-wide vendor bin directory for our operating system. So we are on Mac OS, so I can go ahead and copy this. And I am using Z Shell, and if you are not using Z Shell or you're not familiar with what Z Shell is, then you're probably using Bash. And you can go ahead and vim into your tilde.bash profile, but I'm using Z Shell, so I'm gonna go ahead and go into my .zshrc file, and I'm gonna go ahead and add this right here. So I'm gonna say export path and we're going to add the home.composer vendor bin. And then we need to add dollar sign path at the end. And you can see that we kind of have this little helper right here that explains how we can add a path to our Z shell file. So I'm gonna go ahead and save that and quit. And now I probably need to close this out and open up a new terminal window. And now check this out. If we go to our sites folder, I can now run Laravel new blog and it will install a new Laravel application inside of a folder named blog. Now what I can do is I can go ahead and CD into this folder and I can run a command to start a local server. So I can say PHP artisan serve. And you can see that we get that a Laravel development server has started at this address. So sure enough, if I were to copy this address and paste it in there, you can see that we do have a blank Laravel application in front of us. So just like that, we installed Composer and the Laravel installer, and we're ready to start developing our Laravel app. But there is one development environment that I like working with better, which is called Laravel Valet. And this just makes installing new apps and then navigating to those apps much easier. With Laravel Valet, we also have certain things like we can make a URL in HTTPS, 
We can also share our projects so it will have a publicly accessible website. And there's just a bunch of other cool things that Laravel Valet provides for us. So let's jump back over to the documentation. And under getting started, we have Valet here. So we can scroll down. You can read up all about this if you would like. We're going to go down to the installation. And it says that Valet requires Homebrew. And if you do not have Homebrew, it is very easy to install. You can just copy this line and paste this into Terminal. But I already do have Homebrew, and I also have PHP installed on my machine. So to check and see if you have PHP installed, you can just open up a Terminal window, and you can run php-v, and I can see that I have PHP 7.4.3 installed. Okay, so if I come back here to the installation instructions, it says that we also need to install Composer, which we have already done. And then to install Valet, we can go ahead and run this global command. Okay, and after I've done that, I can then come back and the instructions say to run valet install. So I can just copy that and paste that right in here. Okay, and after we've installed valet, we need to tell valet where our site folder is at. So we can see into our sites folder and we can run this new command called valet park. And it says this directory has been added to Valet's paths. So check this out. Inside of this folder, we have a folder named blog. So we can actually navigate to that site by going to blog.test. And you can see that we have a blank Laravel application. So say that we want to create a new application and we already have Composer, the Laravel installer, and Valet installed. Setting up a new Laravel app is very simple. We can just go ahead and run the Laravel command and let's store this in a folder called application. And after we've created that new Laravel app, we can then navigate to it by going to application.test and bam, right in front of us is a new Laravel application. We can start playing around with Laravel and start building our app. Hey, thanks for checking out this video series on Laravel 7 basics. I just wanted to say thanks for watching this series. And I also wanted to ask you to give me a follow on Twitter at T-N-Y-L-E-A. I also wanted to take just a second and let you know about one of my courses that I created called SAS Adventure. And you can visit it at sasadventure.io. And this is a 21 day program that will teach you how to create your own software as a service using the Laravel framework. So if you wanna support me, go ahead and uh, check out my course at sasadventure.io and I will see you in the next video.